Today I'm going to show you how to use XPlay's webhook trigger, which was introduced in the 5.17 release. So let's go ahead and start from the Prism Central console, and we're going to go over and go to the Playbooks view. And we're going to go ahead and create a playbook with the webhook trigger. And what the webhook trigger allows you to do is trigger a playbook um, by calling an endpoint, um, which serves as a webhook to go ahead and actually initiate this workflow. And we're going to actually create a really simple use case here. So let's start by selecting that webhook trigger. And this, the details that will uh, be shown here after we actually save the playbook, and it will tell us how to call that. But for now, we'll go ahead and add actions. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, add memory to a VM. And then we'll actually go ahead and send a Slack message. I'm just going to go ahead and use this parameters field to fill in entity one. And I'll show you how we can actually fill that in and send that to through the webhook trigger. I'm going to go ahead and just add one gigabyte of memory with a maximum limit of 20. And then after that, I'll send out a Slack notification. So I'm just going to fill in the message fields here and we actually can use the parameters option again to go ahead and fill in the VM name and we can also go ahead and fill in the resultant memory um, of the VM after getting the 1 GB added and we'll actually fill in one more value um, that comes that we can pass into the webhook trigger um, and we'll just use that as a the signature for the message that we'll be sending. So it's a really simple playbook. We're just going to go ahead and save that and we'll give it a name um, webhook test. And I'm going to go ahead and enable that playbook now. So now with the webhook trigger, we actually have to go ahead and trigger it. Um, and there's a variety of ways that you can actually use this trigger. Um, you can, you know, just manually call it from a REST client like we're about to do, but you can also call it from other tools such as, you know, ServiceNow or integrate um, any tool that allows you to call back to a webhook. Um, or you can also uh, just call it directly from any kind of script. Now we're going to actually go back and look in at the webhook trigger um, and we can see we're actually given some details here about the uh, request we need to make to call this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the copy here to copy the body and I'm going to fill that in over in my Rust client and I'm also going to go ahead and copy this the URL um, and notice that we do need to make a post request so we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have the option to fill in uh, the parameters that we'll actually be passing into the uh, request. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we said that string one was going to be my signature. So I'll just fill my name in there. And then we know entity one is actually going to be the VM that we want to trigger this on. So I'm going to fill in my entity type is VM. My entity name I know is going to be Linux VM. And for the entity UID, we're just going to do an ACLI get really quickly on the VM Linux VM. And I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom here and I'll go ahead and copy that UID right here into my request. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in to the entity UID field here. And now I think we're ready to go ahead and trigger this. So let's first just take a look at that Linux VM. And we can go ahead and see the memory capacity is currently at 2 gigabytes. So now let's actually go ahead and trigger the playbook by calling the API here. And we can see a task has been initiated, so the playbook has been triggered. And we can come back to the Prism Central, and we should see a task going soon.
to tell us that that VM is actually getting the memory added to it. The VM was successfully increased to three gigabytes and we can slide on over to Slack message and we can see that the Linux VM has had one gigabyte of memory added and the results in memory is three and you can actually see that from the um, webhook trigger we were able to pass in um, the special string which was my name as well. Alright, thanks for watching.